Welcome back to episode number four of the Everton Career Mode. We're jumping straight back in with a game against Arsenal, where it is time to give some people their debut. But as you can see from that beautiful plus numbers above people's heads, we're actually in quite good form. And people are playing way above their ability. Tapso was playing like an 86. So is Pickford, as we've seen in the derby in the last episode. I want to run you guys through a little... A little... We're halfway through the first season. Let's have a look at how the team's getting on. Pickford is up plus one to 83. He's then plus three from his form to play like an 86. Parisi's just come in. He's a 76. Godfrey has gone up one to 77. Tapsoba's gone up one to 82. Who else have we got? Tarkovsky. He's old and holding himself at 80. Patterson is up three to a 72, which is quality. Idrissa Ganagay is going down. Again, he is old. That is going to happen. We've brought Tanganga in, who's just a 75. Garner's up two to a 74. He's on the cusp of becoming a gold if he was on ultimate team. McNeil's going up two. Damari Gray's up one. Davies is up one. We're actually doing quite well. Whitehead is up three and is now a gold and is unbelievable because he has that potential to become special. We've just signed Sansit. Awobi's the same. Townsend's the same. Way is up three to 77 already. Very, very excited for what Romero's going to be like. Cavaloon's an 80, but he's a cripple. Morpay's somehow growing. Redan is up too, and he's creeping his way towards the 70s. And do you know what? I'm feeling good. Let's jump in, and let's give some of the lads their debut. And apparently, my chat's rinsing me because in my big spiel about my team, I said that we were playing Arsenal. We're not. We're playing West Ham. Doesn't matter who we're playing, they're going to lose. Oh, that bench. That bench looks so much better. We've done, we've done very well. Very well. I'm I'd, tempted to say we've won the transfer window, which is a trophy Everton have won many a time. I think we've just done it again. Let's jump in to the London Stadium and let's batter West Ham. X -ubs, oh, okay. All right, Danny Ings, calm down, lads. He's trying to get a move to Arsenal. That is a filthy goal, by the way. A scorpion kick pass. First time volley top bins. What on earth is the AI smoking? Get your bubbles off my screen. Why is, why is Tapso we're playing the world on side? And then he stepped up. Thank God for Jordan Pickford. West Ham are just fully parking the bus. They got five at the back. They're playing one depth. I can't get anything going. They've scored a ridiculous counter attack from a bloody scorpion kick pass to first time volley. And then they're just parking the bus. All right. Luckily, we now have some game changers on the bench. On comes Romero. On comes Sansa up front. Let's get McNeil on as well. Yes, there's the ball. There's Sansit. Early got oh, okay. Right, we've lost our way to Arsenal. Also known as West Ham. <sighs> they just parked the bus, to be honest with you. They scored a classic squad battle goal where the AI just does something stupid. And then played five at the back, parked the bus. Struggle. That was a struggle. That's not the nicest game to make your debut in. However, we are still comfortably outside the relegation zone, which is an improvement for Everton in real life. So, Andy's at the wheel and he's doing well. We've got a lot of winnable games coming up. Southampton and Fulham are our only games in Feb. Forest, Bournemouth, then we've got Newcastle and City before a double header, Brighton, Spurs, Chelsea, and our final game of the season is against Leeds, who are four points behind us in the final relegation spot. We need to be, we need to be winning these next four games basically to put as much space between ourselves. So when we start losing to City and Chelsea and stuff like that and Newcastle, it's fine that we're playing Leeds last game of the season because we're more than three points ahead of them. All right, deadline day. We've got no money. However, we could be about to lose a chunk of money if Tom Davies lose, leaves for free. So let's get over to our squad hub and let's sort out some contracts. Let's see if we can get Tom to sign a renewal. Sure, I'll lie to him. I'll lie to him to get him to sign it. A big contract. Three years? Sure, we'll just sell you. Because if, you, if you're going to be going but Leverkusen for free, we just want to get you signed up so we can at least get some money off them. 25k. 
and 25 quid for a haircut. Jobs are good'n. We'll be taking your money, please, by a Leverkusen. Oh, oh, Andros Townsend's just done it, though. I didn't renew his contract because he never plays. We've got nothing for him. We've got we've got his wages off the thing. It's fine. He's gone on a pre-contract. That's fine. Okay, Tim, if you weigh us back, this is good. The, de the squad depth's really coming in. If you play him too early, we run the risk of aggravating his injury. Okay. And Onana thought he should let me know that there's some discontent in the dressing room. The boys feel like they're just drifting. And they aren't sure this is a team that can win anything this season. Oh, aren't you? Oh, I didn't realise you're 16 for out of all the cups and you finally just realised that you can't work. <laughs> You've only just realised you can't win anything when you have both the cups and you're 16th. Oh, well done, squad. Maybe you could focus on winning the next game. Yeah? How about that? All right. Southampton away. I'm in control of the boys again. Because they feel like they can't win anything. So we're going to make sure they can win this game. And also, we had an absolute stinker. In our first game with the new team. So I've stepped up. I've come in. And the manager's going to make the difference. Not if a Wobie gets bodied by Kyle Walker-Peters. He's not right. Come on, boys. They're playing fear walk off, for Christ's sake. Yes. This is looking good. This is nice football. Damari Gray. Oh, we tried to be a Traveller merchant. That is... That's the rub of the green that you get when you're in the relegation zone or fighting to stay out of it. Oh my god. That is all a Wobie. Oh, and he's missed an absolute sitter. Whitehead, my golden boy. Like, really? I wish you could disable the L2 thing that the AI does. Oh my god, Harry Bow. Bring back Bikalenko. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Spineless performance. Spineless. Embarrassing is what that is. Absolutely embarrassing. However, it has been brought to my attention that when you go into a pre-match lobby, such as here, when you update the stuff, it only does it for that one game. So, I'm pretty sure we've been playing... Long ball, park the bus football. We have. Brilliant. Okay. Some might say that is a managerial error. I would say EA is stupid. So, let's tell them to buck their ideas up. Let's actually try to score some goals. And let's go out and try and win games. For the third time this episode then, let's go and win a game. Actually, with some custom tactics now. Sansa is one week away from his developmental plan turning him into a striker. If Red, Nan, if Red Nan doesn't score in this game at least twice, he's getting dropped immediately as soon as Sansa becomes a striker. Go on, Awobi. Yes. Yes. How's the finish? Come on. He knows that Sansa's coming for him. Oh, where are you heading that there for? Get it out. Get me to half time. Get me to half time. Get me to half time. Get get me to half time. There's half time. Okay. We're winning a game. Oh my god, tap soap is on an absolute mad one. Go on then. <gasps> it's like Harry Maguire at the World Cup. Some players in times of crisis just step up, take the game by the scruff of the neck, and say, I'm getting three points for the lads. Tap Sober is one of them players. Make him the club captain immediately. I mean, I told him to pass it ages ago. Don't worry, Tap Sober, clean up. Okay. Okay. And then the AI just goes, sure, what, we're going to give Paulson 99 shooting. We're going to give him 99 shooting. Why not? Whitehead's got the skills. He scoop turned them. The tramp's on. There we go. McNeil. In the dying embers of the game. Once again, securing the win. Beautiful. That is a very, very, very vital three points. We've got to keep an eye on Leeds. 
they're the ones that are chasing us, and they're the ones that we've got last day of the season. And they've just lost 2-0. Come on, West Ham. I knew I loved you. Let's have a look at the standings. McNeil's oh, so clear. We're not. We're still only four points clear of them. We're only three points off. Newcastle are 14th. It's not very realistic. Who's winning the league? It's got to be Liverpool or City, surely. City, United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. It's somewhat realistic, I guess. Newcastle all the way down in 14th is kind of wild. We're actually... Okay, two wins and a draw away from top half. We, got, we might be 15 goal difference behind Aston Villa. And they might have a game in hand. But, you know, two wins and a draw. It's doable. We're four points clear of Leeds. We're seven points clear of Brentford. So it is really just Leeds that we're looking at for being able to catch us. In other good news, after our win, Calvert-Lewin is back from injury. But one of them ones that oh, probably shouldn't play him. So we're going to leave him for a little bit. Weyer is like fully fit now, which is great. So he can come back into the squad, I think. I really want to put Begovic not on the bench. But I'm scared. Because you get five subs, but EA haven't fixed it. So you get an extra few subs to choose from. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. So Calvary wins back. And that means we've got two new strikers. Or two, new, two more strikers to choose from. Because if we head over to the developmental plans and go to Sunset, we should be able to turn him into a striker now as well. There we go. Sunset is now a 79 rated striker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have we just found a god? This is a kid worth 1.7 million. Million. This guy's worth 160 grand. This guy's 90 grand. This guy's 100. 1.7 million at 15 years old. Get him in the club. Get him signed immediately. He's 66 rated at 15 years old. And he reckons he's going to be between 67 and 91. Surely that's got to be up towards the top end of 91. If he's 1.7 mil. And then I've also just picked this guy up. Who wasn't 1.7 mil. He was like 400 grand. He's also 68 and 94. He's a centre-back. 15 years old from France. Look, by the way. Look at that beard. On a 15-year-old. He come out of his mother with stubble. What is that? The man's got a mortgage and three kids and he's 15 years old. But he's going to be quality in our team. And we need a new camp. I feel like Awobi isn't doing it as a wide camp. I've, I don't think we should quite be bringing this kid in yet. And stick him on the wing straight away. But leave him in the Youth Academy for a little bit to try and grow. But he looks crazy good. Right then, we've got a lot of games to get through. To find out if we're going to avoid relegation. So, let's hit some quick sims. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Instantly in with a 3-0 loss. Jesse, we conceded to Jesse Lingard, for Christ's sake. Right, I tell you what's happening. Red hand's getting dropped. That's what's happening. This is a prime, prime bottom of the table clash. Let's play the highlights. This is a relegation zone battler. This is a six-pointer. Well, that's certainly not a highlight. That is Bournemouth passing it around endlessly. And playing really good football with a quality finish. It's okay. Parisi, edge of the box to a Dressagana Gay. Flicks it into Godfrey. It's to Traveller. Oh my God, he's a centre-back. Not like this. We're literally playing against 10 men. We've lost to 10 men. Oh my God. We're getting relegated. We're actually getting relegated. Why? When you play the defensive highlights, your whole team's just miles up the pitch. And the legendary AI just ticky tackers it round you. Oh my God. Please don't sack. But no, 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 we're not getting relegated. We're just never playing defensive highlights ever again. Oh, we've got Newcastle at home. This is not going to go well. 
Attack and highlights only, because that was a defensive nightmare. It's nil-nil. We're playing Newcastle. They're mid-table. We got a crossing opportunity, and my entire team is in my own box. Brilliant. Well done, EA. What a cross, though. Greens it! Doesn't! Scores! Come on, Sunset! What a finish. My future star. It's still 1-0. The counter-attack. Alright, McNeil takes it down. Sunset's over the top. He hasn't got the pace, though. But he has... No, I didn't lose the ball! He was through on goal! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know why I'm on the edge of my box. Their defence is on the edge of their box. Don't know what's going on. But I can see Timothy Weyer making a run. Oh. 1-0. Let's go. Sock it, Newcastle. Come on. Up the toffees. We're flying up the table. Most importantly, how did Leeds do? Oh, they've had a stinker. They've had an absolute stinker. Brentford. Oh, they're, oh Brentford have played 30 games. Leeds have got three games in hand. Two games in hand on me. Six points behind. They've got City next, and then Liverpool. But then I've got City. Oh, this is going to be so close. We've got a bit of discontent from some of the clubs of the players I've got in loan. With Tanganga, Spurs, and Romero's club it's just basically complaining that they're not playing enough. Now, I've took this guy on a two-year loan with an option to buy. I appreciate they want him to develop, but I'm probably just going to buy him anyway. So, don't recall him. Don't cry about it. But you know what? If you're going to cry, I'll play him. Tanganga on the other hand. Go on, have a, have a run out at right back. He's more defensive than Patterson. Attacking highlights only. If we win this game after Leeds have just lost to them. We're basically safe. I'm just going to put that out there. We're basically safe. Oh, we're losing 1-0 already. Brilliant. Well, there's the relegation party back in full flow. However, we have got a counter-attack. We have got a counter-attack. Come on, Dwight McNeil. Has he got the pace? Oh my god, look how fast Kyle Walker is. Where's the support? There's the support. There's Sunset. Oh, keep it, keep it alive. Keep it alive. Yes. Body him. Tiki Taka. Finish. Yes! Come on! Still one all. Just before half-time. Ever encounter. Who's picking it up? Luca Romero. Santa's on the charge. He's got stuck on the port. All right. All right. All right. It's half. If... Wait, that's 4 1. Oh my God. I thought it was 1 all at half time. We're five points clear of Brentford. And Leeds have caught their games up and lost them all. All right. We're five points clear of the relegation zone. Played 30 games. Eight games to go. Let's get a win. 42nd minute, nil-nil, Sunset on a solo break. No. Oh, we're losing 2-0 now, are you messing? This is not good. Come on, Sunset. Takes that down. Green's the finesse. Quality save. This is not good. This is not good. Right. We've got... Villa, Brighton, Spurs, Chelsea, Brentford, and then United Leeds. And we're going to sim there and see where we're at. Can we stave off relegation? Not with a 1-0 loss. Maybe with a 1-0 win. Okay, I'm expecting a big loss against Spurs, but that's absolutely fine. Yeah, we've lost 4-2. Chelsea. Drew one all. <gasps> I've stopped this him. I want to know. Oh, it's can't it's done it anyway. Alright, we've drawn one all with Brentford as well. This is the most important part. The standings were six points clear of Brentford. With two games to go. We need one single point from Man United to stay in the Premier League.
very, very much on the precipice of getting sacked in our first season. And we've got injuries to deal with. Awobi sprained his knee and is out for four weeks, okay. Tanganga's going back, that is fine. Morpay's not happy. Someone wants to take Morpay on loan. But that's gone, because I was simming. That's fine. We'll shift him in the summer. For now, all that matters is not getting sacked and staying in the Prem. Man United are looking. They can't win the league. Oh my God. But they could lose out on the Champions League. City have run away with it with 95 points. And they could become Centurions again. United, Spurs and Arsenal all are on 71. If we beat United and Liverpool win, United could miss out on Champions League. A white head through the gap. Finish that. Oh my god, he's missed an absolute sitter. You can't be annoyed at me and have bad morale when you're missing chances like that. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, <gasps> chance. Chance. Oh my god, De Gea, are you messing me? Oh my god, white head. White head. Yes. That could be the point we need to stave off relegation. The absolute star of the season. What a man. No, 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 no. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, the AI's turned the tiki-taka on. Luke Shaw's turned into Ronaldinho. Oh, what a save. Okay. Big chances have been missed from both teams. We've got the point that we need. Brentford are losing 2-0 to Arsenal, though, at home. So we don't need any points if they carry on losing. But as it stands, for us, irrelevant of Brentford's results, we are safe. No, not like that. Are you joking me? Really, EA? Oh, my God. <gasps> Idrissa! Oh my god, where's he pulled that from? Where has he just pulled that from? Paint him like one of your French girls. Where has he just pulled that from? Look at his feet. Oh my god, he's gone. Tamari Gray's on a mat one. Oh, why is Tap Sober up there? Not like this. Don't throw again. Don't throw it away. Don't get relegated. Yes, win that. Win that. Win that. He's absolutely shattered. There it is. Invade the pitch, boys. We're safe. Premier League for another season. We've actually gone and bloody done it. Brentford lost anyway. Leeds lost anyway. The Toffees are staying up. However, the board does wish to inform me that my position at the club is currently under close observation. Their confidence as regards to my ability to manage the club successfully has been undermined by recent results. I've just saved us from relegation, mate. No decision has been reached. We urge you to give every effort to achieve a positive outcome. Damari Gray is very unhappy and wants to leave. We might be selling you anyway, mate. Don't you worry. However, I'm pretty sure Leeds are already relegated. They are. Brentford are down as well. We are safe in 15th. So, let's finish off the season with a completely pointless game. So we'll give the second 11 a run out. Quick Simit. Probably lose. Doesn't matter. We're going into the summer transfer window. Rebuilding for season number two.